You gotta wait there one minute, babe. I'm nearly done. You just keep trying to eat my jeans. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today is Tuesday the 10th of December and I'm trying to do like a filming content day because I've been lacking in that department over the last week. I've been really struggling to sort of kick myself into gear with doing it. Um, once I do start doing the content, I really enjoy doing it, but I'm just like finding it hard to sort my head out at the moment and get things done. But anyway, this morning I filmed a makeup Monday, Monday makeup, and yeah, so that was good. And then I also have just taken pictures of um, a new pair of jeans that I was very kindly sent. I sent two pairs of jeans from Mother Denim and these jeans are just heaven so I just thought I would do a nice little Instagram say thank you for their gifting um, and it's also like a great way as a content creator if you're gifted something to sort of spur you on to keep creating content. Lots of people can always be funny about gifting and people putting it up I don't know. I just feel like it's a nice way for you to try something new, try a different brand out, and get creative. Yeah, this is one of the pairs they sent me. They're like flared jeans. And then this afternoon I'm planning on doing my talking about life after uni video because that's been something I've wanted to do for so long. And um, while I'm in the content creator mode, um, I'm gonna try and get it done. I'm just, I don't know if I'm gonna get emotional in that video or not, but I don't know. For now, I'm going to sit and edit the pictures I've just taken and upload them. So that's something done and I feel really good when things go up on Instagram. And I'm also still so impatient about posting things. I always just wanna post them like now. <laughs> I've got a really nice week planned actually. Um, something very big happened yesterday. I basically went to the mini dealership yesterday and bought a new car which I'm picking up on Friday. I'm feeling quite sad about getting rid of my first car because a lot has happened in that, like growing up wise, like I got it when I was in sixth form and I was driving to and from school every day and picking up Alice and Orlando on the way and coming back and then ferrying it to and from uni and and then um, and I've had two breakups happen in that car. But a lot of history is held inside that car. <laughs> my car is 13 years old. Um, so it's kind of time for a change. I'm still not brand new, like, I just, unless I had like ridiculous amounts of money, then I would maybe buy a new car, but I just think it's... They just lose their value so quickly, cars, um, once you've bought them new. So I don't see the point in doing that. So yeah, I am like beyond excited for Friday now. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna sit and edit and listen to some Christmas music. Tomorrow I am going down to Winchester, which is where I used to go to uni, and um, see some friends, and that will be really nice. I'm going to the Christmas market. <laughs> and then Thursday I'm possibly seeing Amber and her friend in Bista for more shopping at Bista Village. <laughs> so by the end of this week I have zero excuses not to have Christmas presents, basically. Here's your first flurry update of the vlog. Finally asleep after being completely nuts all morning Aww. Flurry. just finished filming my life after uni video and oh my goodness I am a wreck <laughs> uh, I got so emotional in the video and I just didn't think I would. Well I kind of thought I would, which I think is why I was putting it off for so long, but I'm so glad I filmed that now because I've wanted to do it for so long um, and just share my opinion of how I felt after uni. I hope you enjoyed that if you saw that. I don't know if it's going before or after this, probably before. But yeah, I'm going to sit and edit that and upload it because I know if I don't edit it now I'm not going to want to ever do that any other time. While I'm in the mood I need to edit it. Um, so yes. Um, I have a sleepy, sleepy Florence next to me too. Hi, Flory. She had her squeaky toy the whole way through my video and was just being a bit of a numpty. So yeah, I'm going to get on and edit this and then I'm going to make some dinner probably. 
Oh no, I'll probably take Florence out for a walk and then make some dinner. Someone's realised that she was squeaking the whole way through the video. But listen. What's going on? Huh? Where's that squeaking coming from? Do you want to go on a walk or do you want to stay snoozy? I'm running late. Bye. What's new? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> but I'm off to Winchester to go to the Christmas markets with Ella and Holly. So I thought I'd bring you along to see how it goes. This is also the last trip Winnie will take. Last big trip of Winifred. <laughs> I got ready in stupid time today to try and leave early. I'm so bad at leaving before nine or like just after nine. But anyway, I'm on my way. I literally just got the last parking space. Now I need to go and get a ticket. Ticket, ticket. So I've just been on the phone sorting out my insurance this morning and I took Flory for a walk in the rain which she didn't love but she's the cutest thing in the rain because she just she still doesn't quite understand what it is so she like lifts her head up and goes like <laughs> but anyway my insurance is all sorted out for tomorrow so when I pick up my new car <laughs> and now I need to go and empty out my car because it's got lots of stuff in it and um going away tomorrow and in like an hour and a half I have to upload a Tresemme job um, which I'm excited about it's like the 12 days of Tresemme um, which is fun and I love working with Tresemme they're just such an easy brand to work with some brands really not very easy to work with and then after I've done that I am going to Bist Village to see Amber and her friend Lauren um, and just have a little shop around. I actually got a few, well, one person a Christmas present in Winchester when I went yesterday. So, another one down. Um, I actually need to start doing some wrapping because I actually have people's presents now. But anyway, let's go see what weird and wonderful things are hiding in my car. <laughs> so this car doesn't have an aux cable, so I always had CDs in it. <laughs> Dolly Parton is a recent um, one. Things like this. I'm just going to chuck them all in a bag. It's easier. Tissue, a needle. <laughs> this was um, this is because my um, you know when you like wash your windscreen, the back one always gets clogged up, so I have to shove a needle down it. And so much stuff. Oh, God. Oh, look. Sweet. Wet wipes and more seedings. Thing is, I'm really bad at putting the right things back in the right. Oh no, that's the right place. <laughs> Got a puppy pad in here. I'm about to head out. I just thought I'd show you. My outfit for today, it's raining outside, so I've gone for a very gloomy black outfit. I have on my Adidas puffer jacket, and then this play suit is from Zara years ago. And underneath this I have many a layer. <laughs> um, this bag is from ASOS, also a while ago. Boots are Zara, um, and then just some tights. And that is my little outfit. I'm back from Vista. Didn't film anything there because it was chucking it down with rain and I was just having a nice time really. So I didn't bring my camera out. But I successfully got two people, nearly three people's Christmas presents. Now I'm gonna wrap them because I wrapped some earlier. 
and might as well do it while all my stuff is out and then hopefully that is just it for Christmas presents <sighs> this is my little wrapping station I love the wrapping paper I've got this year it's from Ikea and it's all sorts of different brown paper and I love it it's so nice the day that I say goodbye to my first car mm. although it did feel a bit like Christmas morning waking up today and knowing I'm gonna be getting a new car <laughs> anyway I'm gonna show you my outfit this morning um I don't know what coat I'm gonna wear yet but the car I'm getting is navy and I feel like I'm kind of <laughs> in the colors of the car it's navy and white so I have on this Aspen sweatshirt from Brandy Melville that got recently and then these mother jeans and I want to wear trainers but they're a little bit too long to wear trainers with um, at the back so I'll probably wear my black boots and maybe my adidas coat again because it's quite cold outside bye bye Winnie it's been nice knowing you excited? yes <laughs> got back from swimming hence the blotchy skin and wet hair <laughs> still haven't shown you around my new car but I will do that at some point today so yeah I went swimming this morning I didn't really want to but I haven't been for a while and I know this week is gonna be crazy busy so it's kind of the only time I could have gone and I've just taken Flory out for the second time today um, it is 10 30 at the moment um, and I'm going to go upstairs, dry my hair. It's around 10.30. Um, I've just put a chocolate croissant in the oven. <laughs> and I'm going to go upstairs and dry my hair and get ready for the day. And I'm going to do some pattern cutting today because I started that last night. And I want to continue because it actually went quite well. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. Still haven't done my makeup. Flo, what are you eating? A leaf. I'm going to make a banana smoothie. A little handful of almonds. So I didn't properly show you my car yesterday, so I'm going to show you now. So here she is, just a navy and white Mini Cooper. Same as my last one, but this one is um, 16 reg. So it's a newer shape of Mini. Everything's so much fancier inside this car. It has stop start engine, which is crazy. So you just have to you just have to have the key inside the car for it to start. And then you've got this like fun middle bit. Fucking ring people. I loved the cream sort of trims inside and how it kind of matches the outside of the car. The other one I was looking at had a much bigger screen inside, but it was an older car. And it did have a sat nav built in, but I was like, I already have a sat nav, don't need it. So yeah, I'm a very happy girl in my new mini. It honestly just feels so much nicer than my old mini. Ah, oh, love it. And it also actually fits Florence's crate in the boot, which is crazy. So another big win for the mini Cooper. I was considering getting the five door mini, um, but it's just so big and I don't really need a huge car so I was just like I stick with what I like. I actually looked at quite a few different brands of car and ended up with Mini again. <laughs> it's been like a month of considering a new car um, and then I ended up with this one and I'm just very very happy with it. Um, I need to think of a new name for this car now but I can't think of one right now. But anyway, I'm gonna go back inside and do some sewing. And then I'm gonna take Flory out after lunch, I think, with my dad. We're gonna go around Blenheim Palace 
just around the grounds because it's such a nice walk and Florence loves it there. It's like her favorite place to go because there's always so many leaves and you know how much Florence loves leaves if you follow her on Instagram. <laughs>